Actually, hold on. Mouth football. Um, we're going to talk about MVP front runners and a dark horse. So um, I know we were talking about this a little bit before we got on here. So who's your MVP front runner and uh, who's a dark horse for you? We got Lamar. We got yeah. Lamar as the front runner. This guy's doing big things, man. Yeah, no matter what. Jeez, I mean, he, he's a fantasy freaking nightmare to play against. You know, it's crazy. One of the leagues I was in, I thought he got picked early and mm. uh, it seems like a really good pick. It really yeah. does. Each, every week, it's what forty points, forty plus, dude. Guaranteed, absolutely. He's giving you a hundred plus. He's giving you a, a hundred yards almost rushing and a touchdown, and then he's giving you another two hundred with a couple touchdowns passing. He's incredible. He's incredible. He's the whole team. He's taking him on his. He can, and he can do anything. So you can't really. It's hard to to game plan against him. He can run. He's a good passer. Um, it, you just got to watch every every aspect of the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's playing for. You could tell he's playing with a chip this year. Just Absolutely. a little different, you know, MVP once before and they don't pay him. Now it's like, all right, well, I'll do it again. Yeah. Let me do I, it again. I like his uh, relationship with Harbaugh, too. I, I feel like they have a real good thing in that locker room with the two of them. And I feel like the the way that Lamar presents himself and the way that Harbaugh, Harbaugh presents himself and the way that they kind of mesh together, it just goes. You know yeah. what I mean? I feel like he can handle his personality and vice versa. You know what I mean? And it just, it's like old school mentality meets new school, but they come, come together and they make yeah. it work. So yeah, I you like can tell it. they got a good relationship too. They yeah, like absolutely. It. He trusts, he trusts Harbaugh and vice versa. Of course, Harbaugh trusts Lamar. You know what I mean? So it's cool. I like that type of relationship. I enjoy yeah. seeing that. So same here. I think he's the guy right now. I don't think there's anybody <laughs> that touches him for the, the first three weeks, at least. Yeah. I mean, there's good players, but the way he's playing is something different. I hear you. Who do you got for a dark horse? You got anybody waiting in the wings that you think might be yeah. ready to ready to got step it. up? Who are you thinking? <laughs> Ooh, waddle with me. Little waddle, baby. I like it. Uh, I just like it. Something, something real dark, real dark horsey. He's just good, man. I, you know, Tyreek's Tyreek, but Waddle just ever since Tyreek's got there, he just opens up things a lot more for Waddle. Absolutely. And, uh, I mean, I just I think if Tua can stay healthy and they can get that offense going. Man, he's going to put up some numbers this year. For sure. You know, number two in the league in yards by two yards behind Stefan Diggs. But, I mean, he gets a lot of looks, and he's always open. He's got high energy. I like him. I, mm -hmm. I like Waddle. I think he's uh, – I would like to see it. I would like to see someone other than a quarterback win the MVP for yeah, a It doesn't happen. It really doesn't. And I no. understand quarterback's the hardest position to play. And, you know, rightfully so that they win the MVPs. But, you know, I mean, let's be honest. You know, they there's people in skilled positions like wide receiver, you know, running backs, even defensive backs, linemen, defensive yeah. linemen. Where are they at? I mean, they put in all this damn work too, you know. So um, it'd be nice to see somebody else recognized for the most valuable player for their team. So I like that. I'm hoping for Waddle too. So let's go. Yes, sir. All right. My uh, my MVP front runner right now has got to be Jalen Hurts, man. I, I just yeah. I, I don't know. He, he you know, he's on the best team in the NFL right now. He is playing on an all time high. He's also a fantasy nightmare to play against. I'm lucky I have him in one of my leagues. Yeah. And uh, he's he's just he just looks the part and he's playing the part, too. Um, his throws, I mean, even under duress, he seems like he's cool, calm and collective. Whereas in years past, when maybe the coaching was a little bit different, he didn't feel as comfortable in the, in the uh, offensive scheme. Maybe he didn't have as many weapons around him, but he just feels and looks different this year 
And I feel like that team is just running on all cylinders right now. And a lot of it stems from the quarterback play. If he was playing like dog shit and he was missing open targets or he wasn't reading, you know, the defense the way that he has been. Yeah. I think we, you know, obviously they wouldn't be sitting at three and all right now, but a lot of the reason why they are is because of Jalen Hurts play. So um, if he keeps this momentum moving forward and he can continues out the season, the way that he's been playing, I think he's got a great chance of, of winning that MVP. So yeah, um, that's that. my, that's my front runner right now. I like the and what you said about Lamar and Harbaugh. I feel like any good quarterback always has a good relationship with the head coach. Yeah. Like, you, like when Tua, and this is just, I go back to the Dolphins because I didn't think about this, but Tua and, you know, Flores couldn't stand each other. There's right. just, you're never going to succeed like that. But when you have like, even like Josh Allen and McDermott, like all those guys that have good relationships like <laughs> Lamar, Harbaugh, all them, they just, I feel like they play that much better. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. If you're willing to go toe to toe for your coach and run through walls for your coach, right? Yeah. It, it's it's only gonna it's only gonna maturate out into the field. You know what I mean? It's gonna yeah, it's gonna create that. I mean, just just looking at this past weekend, I know Eric Bieniemy is not the head coach. I know Andy Reid is, but right. I mean, the offensive coordinator, and he's talking shit to you know arguably one of the best quarterback, the best quarterback maybe in the league. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they lost to a shit Colts team, and it's like. If you're not on the same page and you're having problems and issues in the you know in the locker room, then it's just gonna spill it's over. It's gonna be portrayed in the in the game on the game field. So no, I agree. Um, that that's yeah. Relationships are huge. So um, my dark horse right now has got to be the one and only Kirk Cousins, man, Captain Cousy. Kirk. He's always he, like silently. That guy puts up ridiculous numbers. Like nobody ever pays attention to that guy. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, he puts up 300 yards and three touchdowns like it's nothing. And people are not even saying anything about it. I am a Lions fan, and I was disgusted to watch them lose. But, I mean, the last drive that he had there, I mean, he was hitting people left and right. And that last one for to Kate, uh, to Osborne there, it, yeah. it was I – I wanted to puke. I put my fist through a freaking, you know, chair. But, I mean, he just – he was on point. And I think the the new coach was named Kevin O'Connell over there. He's, he's a nice fit there to be honest mm -hmm. with you. He's a younger coach. He comes from the Rams. He's got a lot of great, you know, ideas. And I think that they're meshing well over there in Minnesota. And yeah, it took a little bit uh, for them to get going. They did get crushed by the Eagles, but that's okay. That's the best team in the team NFL. Exactly. Yeah. You got to get knocked down to get back up. So um, I feel like they're going to be a, a pretty good contender this year. And I think, you know, if they continue on that winning streak that they're on right now and Kirk keeps playing the way that he has been, um, I think he could be, you know, in talks for an MVP candidate. Upper echelon, you think he is QB wise? Where do you think uh, he, 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 you know? I would put him as like a tier two, but on yeah. the cusp of being a tier one, maybe okay. like a a one B. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's the one. There's the untouchables. You got your, you know, uh, Mahomes. You got your Rogers. Your Brady still. Yeah. Josh Allen. I think those guys are in the one a categories and that Lamar maybe even might be up there too. Yeah. And then you got like the, the cousins, which is like, you know, the one, the one B yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like they're right there. They could be incredible if they could can, I, they live in I wonder what it is. Yeah. I don't know. You know I know because he, he does know. all the things that all the other ones do, but I'm with you. I, I think he's a one B too. Maybe it's I don't know why. winning. Maybe it's winning. Could be because no big you games. Gotta think Josh Allen, he's a winner, right? Mahomes is a winner, right? Yeah. And Brady's a winner, right? They're, mm -hmm. they're all winners. They always have a winning season. Whereas the Vikings will go, you know, last year would they go eight and nine? Yeah, you know that's true. I mean? mm -hmm. it's, it, they didn't go twelve and five. You yeah. Know? So it's it's one of those things where you just kind of. I think it has to do with, a lot with the winning. So yeah, I agree. I like that dark horse though. Yeah, like absolutely. That. So those are our MVP front runners and our dork, dark horses, dork, our dork, dork horses. horses. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, let us know what your guys' thoughts are on the uh, MVP front runners, dark horse. Who's your guys' most complete three and O team? Is it the Dolphins? Is it the Eagles? And who's your guys' biggest surprise through week three? We want to know. Hit that comment section below. We really like to hear what you guys have to say. Um, until then, we are foul mouth football. I am Palermo. That is the coop. Till next time. See you. See you.